Yo guys, what's up? It's Keta Gamer here, bringing you another video. Now, as you can tell, I'm playing some Battlefield 4 in the background. This is on Caspian Border 2014 edition from the second assault map pack on Battlefield 4. Now, um, today's topic is actually going to be kind of different. I'm actually going to do a comparison video, and what this comparison video is going to consist of is fraps the programs fraps versus shadow play now many people are i'm guessing not aware of the actual program shadow play shadow play is a recording software that's in beta for nvidia desktop gpu so even if you did have an nvidia gpu in your in your laptop you still could not use it i'm sure that in the future soon, hopefully, when it comes out of beta, they will be able to have that on laptops too. It's actually a great feature to have when you have a desktop NVIDIA GPU. Now, Fraps, many people know this as just the recording device. Now, it records your game in whatever resolution you're in, and it records in HD, obviously. Now, many people know that the Fraps files are usually ginormous. I know that they used to actually be much bigger, like a 10 minute video could be like close to 50 gigs or some crazy high number like that. Now Shadowplay, on the other hand, is nothing like that. I'd say for about 20 minutes it's about 3 gigs, and it's pure HD quality, and now since they've updated it, and it's still, like I said, in the beta, they have multiple options where you can use in-game audio only and the microphone. You can do that with Fraps too, but you can switch from... There's Twitch live streaming. You can switch from Twitch to normal gameplay. Or this thing, what they have called is... Not... What is it called? It's... Na there's manual recording and then there's shadow recording. I'm pretty sure it's shadow recording. Not exactly sure. I know I probably sound very unprofessional right now, but what it does is say say you forgot to press the record button and you just went through a whole routine or some kind of thing that you planned out for nine minutes. You can set this shadow recorder, say to 10, 20 minutes, 20 is the max. And um, once you set it to that, you can have like F10 be the key. You press F10 and it records it all. And it's really, it's like, say if you don't want to record, say if you're kind of like me and when you press the record button and you play games and you're trying to get like a good gameplay, you just can't do it. So you play and you have Shadow Recorder on and you just press it after the game when you have some good clips and you can go back and snatch them up. It's one of the greatest features of any recording uh, blah, 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 recording software on computer and I just I absolutely love it just for that reason alone not just that but also the fact that there is the availability to have much smaller files and you can live stream to Twitch all of this is in beta, so it's kind of glitchy sometimes if it doesn't work. It turns off and on, you have to manually turn it on through the NVIDIA GeForce experience. But Fraps, on the other hand, you can set it to how many FPS you want to play the game and what you want to record, and if you want half or full-size videos. But with, with Shadowplay, you can actually set it to different settings, so you can have low graphics, medium or high. I usually record on low to not low medium to high and that I'd say I think 20 minutes is about 3 gigs on medium which is absolutely fantastic and once you render it out it looks beautiful. Um, now I'm totally going to recommend buying an NVIDIA GPU, desktop GPU, just to get Shadowplay if you're into recording PC gameplay. I know most of you are like, oh fuck dude that's way too much money but in the long run, personally, if you're looking to get a desktop and you're going to get like AMD or something like that, I no, screw it, I, I wouldn't get AMD, I'd get Intel and NVIDIA, just because of the fact that you have Shadowplay, and personally I think it, it creates a better gaming experience when it comes to FPS and FPS monitoring and much more. So if you enjoyed this video, remember to smash that like button. If you want me to do more videos like this, comment down below saying what you'd like me to compare. 
I'm actually going to be doing some gun reviews for Battlefield 4 in the future, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. Peace.